taking. For astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, a new tentative deadline to decide how and when they might be returning back to Earth. With NASA now saying it hopes to decide before the end of the month the best way to get them home. Let's go forward into Starliner. The pair launched into space in June as the first crude test of Boeing Starliner. It was supposed to be a 10-day mission, but helium leaks and problems with Starliner's propulsion system have left the ship and its crew docked at the International Space Station for more than two months. The main issue, those problematic thrusters are needed for a safe re-entry. Our big concern is um, having a successful deorbit burn, making sure that the prop system works just the way it needs to all the way through the deorbit burn. Since docking with the station, NASA and Boeing engineers on the ground have been trying to troubleshoot the problems. The delays show that they are doing their due diligence. Former astronaut Mike Massimino says the risks associated with human space travel can lead to delays and the decision-making process can get complicated. The reason that it's so hard is because you're putting people inside of this. You want to make sure you get the spaceship back, um, but you sure want to get those, that crew back. Part of the new urgency, the space station has two docking ports for U.S. capsules, and both are being used now. One potential scenario would involve sending Starliner back without its crew and leaving two of four seats open on an upcoming SpaceX flight to the station. That mission already pushed back a month to September. So Williams and Wilmore could return with that team, but that would mean keeping them in space until February. We are humans, and this is hard on crew members and their families, and we take that into account. But again, as professional astronauts, they're prepared for this, and they're doing great. I mean, it's good to hear that they're doing well, Tom, but it's still unfathomable uh, on a lot of levels. So other than that SpaceX flight that you mentioned, how yeah. else could they get home at this point? No, that's it. That's the option. I mean, they either come back and take the risks and come back on the Boeing Starliner spaceship, which Boeing insists is safe, or they come back on SpaceX, but that wouldn't be until February. By the way, Frank Rubio is the astronaut who spent the most time in space ever, 371 days. He got stuck. Uh, no indication right now that these two astronauts are going to break that record, but eight months is an awful long time. Mm -hmm. One last note. It's not up to them. They don't get to say what they want. It's up to NASA on the ground, and NASA says the astronauts will do pretty much as they're instructed. Wow. All right. Tom Costello for us. Tom, keep us posted. Can you no. imagine? No. No. Jeez. And also being their families at home. Yeah. Wait. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.